EarthCycle's mission is to eliminate the idea of waste. Now, we do that in two ways. We have to get garbage in, and then we have to get garbage out. So we really view that as we have to collect the waste and then solve the waste. So on collection, we partner with companies like Mars, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, and so on, and they finance collection programs that we call brigades, where consumers all across the country can send us waste for free, and in some cases, earn a donation for every piece of waste. And so far, we have found that everything in the world is technically recyclable. But here's the issue. Some things, like an aluminum can or a rigid soda bottle, the value of the plastic you recover is greater than the cost of the process and the cost of collection. But for 70% of consumer products, that just simply does not exist. Take an extreme example, a dirty diaper. Dirty diapers cost quite a bit more to process and collect than the value of the plastic at the end. So there, those things become traditionally non-recyclable because the system can't finance it. So there we go to consumer product companies who make this stuff and we say, look, you, Huggies, you can spend money to help solve the difference. And basically it's a voluntary product responsibility program. We are the voluntary version of a bottle bill for anything in any state in now 20 countries. Most people think that we're a nonprofit, and we actually feel and have the vibe of a nonprofit, but we are actually a for-profit organization. Now this may sound, you know, why would you do that, just be a nonprofit? But one of the beautiful things is if we can show that we can make money at this whole model, and we can show that big brands and our partners can benefit from this model, the model will explode in a rate that's phenomenal. And that's what's happened so far. In the past eight years, TerraCycle has only grown. We, our worst year of growth was 20%. Art and design are something that's incredibly important to TerraCycle. You can see from our office here, it's covered in graffiti. Um, our outside actually changes every week, and every aspect of this building is built from waste, from the carpet we're walking on to every fixture. What's also nice is it's incredibly cheap. This entire office was built from garbage, and garbage ain't that expensive. One of the uh, biggest inspirations to me is Paul Hawken. He wrote a great book, National Capitalism, and these sort of people you know, were really, really key in framing up the idea of green business and that you could create a social enterprise that basically does the work of a nonprofit but has the benefit of a for-profit. I think that's pretty awesome.